Hey, how are you doing? So today's session is going to be focusing on um, doing a brief lesson planning. This lesson plan is going to be um, for a pupil that is going to be doing general drive. They're almost ready for their tests and it's going to be general drive with effective use of mirrors. Purely based on the last lesson that was done that the mirror check um, was inconsistent and the signaling sometimes was a little bit late or a little bit too early or not going on any at all yeah so we will we, we'll be starting out the session just focusing on some quiet roads to start with if the mirror check and the signaling starts to get better we then encourage the pupil to move on um, to the major road and then we'll take them on to busier roads, um, maybe roundabouts and those type of things. It just depends on how the mirror check and signaling is developing. If it's a case that if they're struggling a little bit and it's not being developed, we then have to adapt the lesson accordingly. Joe, just like you to know that we've got um, the examiner here today. The examiner is Ray. Ray. This is Joe. As we discussed earlier when we parked up Joe, um, Ray is here to look at my overall teaching and not looking at your driving whatsoever, okay? Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine, that's fine. That's not a problem. Okay, brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. So, okay, so just remember, earlier we parked up and we made a plan for today's session. Can you remind me what that is? Oh, um, it was to do some mirror check. Just, you said general drive and... Um paying particular attention to my mirrors. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And why is that? Why did we choose that as a, a, a lesson plan for today? Why did we want to choose? Oh, because um, the last les lesson we did, sometimes I put the signal on late and um, sometimes I miss the signal as well. Um, and um, mirror check as well sometimes. So it wasn't consistent. A few times I miss. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And purely based, if we, let's use a scoring system then. Purely based on the scoring system. What score would you give yourself for the last lesson that we did? Oh, um, about seven. There were about six or seven. Okay, and at the end of that, we had a discussion. Can you just remind me, why did you say it was not higher? Why wasn't that 8 or 9 or a 10, for example? Um, well, um, as I said to you before, I was missing stuff, any. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And what's the target for today? Ideally, what are we looking to achieve by the end of today's session? Um, well, any improvement, maybe an 8, maybe a 9 or even a 10. Okay, and what would you need to do in order to achieve that? Yeah, just check my mirrors a bit more, be more consistent. Also, give my signal in good timing. Speaking of signal in good timing, remind me, oh, what distance did we say we should be giving the signal? Oh, about five to six cars then away. Okay, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, what support, how are we going to share the responsibility? So in terms of what can I do or what would you like me to do to get you to achieve that improvement of what you said, eight, nine or ten? Um... Well, may maybe if you if I'm if you just watch me and if if I'm making mistakes, then coming in and help me to fix it. Like if I'm not signaling, or I that's absolutely fine, Joe. We can do that. That's not a problem. So we can do that. So that sounds like a plan. So before we move off anyway, Joe, let's look at a few things. Risk. What does risk mean to you? Oh, um, other road users, such as cars. Um, pedestrians, cyclists, that type of thing. Okay, brilliant. And in terms of the risk management, how did I say I would help you to manage the risk today? What would I be doing to help you to manage a risk that if it happened and you're not dealing with it? Oh, you said that you've got the dual control um, and you may need to lean over and press the, touch the steering like if I'm too close to a car. Brilliant, well done. So you see, you remember that. Anything else? No. What about verbally? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. You said that if 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 I'm not doing something, you may verbally you may come in and prompt me or something like that. Beautiful, brilliant. Okay, so in terms of responsibility, whose responsibility is it to maintain safety when driving the car? Oh, it's my responsibility. Okay, brilliant. And considering that you're still learning, have I got any responsibility? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got some responsibility and yeah, what is my responsibility oh just to make sure that i'm being safe and help me along the way okay beautiful okay so what we're going to do we're not going to keep you for too long because i'm mindful of the time and um we're going to have to drive off in a minute so 
what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to assume that we're going straight ahead unless road markings indicate otherwise. If I'd like you to turn left or right, I'll give you plenty of notice in which to do so. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. And um, have you got any question for me before we move off? No, 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 no question. Okay, is it okay if whilst you're driving, I ask you questions, um, even if it's not related to what we're doing? Or is it okay if we have our normal chit chat? Yeah, 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 that's fine. Okay, brilliant. So that's not a problem. Remember, feel free if during the drive, if you're not sure of anything, feel free to ask me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to drive off shortly. And just to be clear, you're okay to take the responsibility for driving off? And uh, Or do you need any specific support from me? No, no, I should be. Okay, that's fine. So when you're ready, Joe, I'd like you to drive on, please.